Why are 70 drivers of hydrogen-powered Hyundai Tucson fuel cell vehicles so unhappy these days? And who's planning to test an electric car with 3,000 horsepower? This is our video look back at the week in reverse, right here at Green Car Reports, for the week ending on Friday, July 24th, 2015. Friday, we covered a report from Germany that Apple had asked to use the BMW i3 electric car as the basis of its supposed upcoming venture into the auto industry. Interesting, if it's true, that is. On Thursday, we uncovered the trials and tribulations of Hyundai Tucson fuel cell drivers who can't reliably fuel their cars. The few hydrogen stations in the areas of Southern California where the company is leasing cars aren't open reliably, they say. When they are, sometimes only one or two cars an hour can be fueled. One Tucson fuel cell driver says he loves his car, but questions why he's paying $500 a month for a car he now hasn't been able to drive in five weeks. And we asked what this means for the upcoming launch of the 2016 Toyota Mirai, also fueled by hydrogen. Wednesday, our motorcycle riding author Ben Rich summarized his summer road trip, the most ambitious one he's attempted on his electric bike. In 22 days, Ben covered 6,800 miles and managed to ride in three countries, not only the US, but Canada and Mexico as well. And, of course, he took selfies all the way along. On Tuesday, we revealed the first official image of the new Infiniti Q30 compact hatchback, the smallest and most fuel-efficient vehicle ever offered by Nissan's luxury brand. It'll be formally launched in September at the Frankfurt Motor Show. We kicked off our week on Monday with news that a court has approved settlement terms in a long-running lawsuit over Nissan LEAF electric car battery capacity loss. Two years ago, a judge had rejected an initial settlement proposal as a sweetheart deal for a subset of LEAF owners. Now, Nissan will have to replace all batteries that lose capacity above a certain level with a new and improved chemistry. Finally, what would you say to a 3,000 horsepower electric car? That's what will show up this summer on the salt flats of Bonneville. The Venturi Buckeye Bullet 2.5 will try for a new world land speed record for electric cars. It's shooting for more than 370 miles an hour. Gee, almost makes a Tesla Model S P90D and its ludicrous mode seem sedate, doesn't it? That's all for us. Have a good summer.